Hello guys, I'm back with another build review. This is the Cinema X build. And um, if you've noticed in the wizard, if the build has an X behind the build name, those are the builds that I'll be updating. So um, just look out for that. So this is a updated build for the Cinema build. This is the Cinema X. And um, I'll show you how to install it. If you're new to my channel, I'll show you how to install it and um, how to work certain things in this build. All right, so let's get started. Here we have the hub, movies, TV shows, kids, TV, sports, music, your add-ons, the settings, and we back to hub. All right, in the sub-menu, we have movies movie sets and your TV shows all right and that's all connected with the uh, the extended info mod when you click on the hub it takes you to the extended info mod all right let's go into all movies all right and here you can either play your movie straight from here or you can add your movie to your library to watch for later all right and if you're new to this you would press the long press the button or your your contacts button for this menu to pop up and then you'll add to library all right or if you want to play the movie straight from here you can just click on the movie that you want to watch All right, and it'll take you to this screen, and you can just hit play. And you could choose which add-on you want to play the movie from. As you can see on the bottom right, Fine and Dandy is given the error, so it's not really compatible with this add-on. But um, yeah, these add-ons that says direct, you could play the movie straight from here. And also I changed the font to make it a little bigger. So we're scraping the sources. And also UK Turk isn't compatible with, with this add-on. It has to be added. All right, so you could choose which source you want to play the movie from. All right, so let's back out of here. To get to the TV shows, you could slide to the left, click on TV, uh, click on it once, and it's the TV show section. And you could do the same thing to add your TV shows to your library. You just hit the context button and then you would add to library. And that's how you build your library up for your movies and your TV shows. And those movies and TV shows will be located here. When you click on movies. And your, um, your movies will be right here. All right. And if you have movie sets, as you see, I had John Wick part one and part two. You could easily navigate to it right here. If you added, you know, different parts of a movie, let's say um, Guardians of the Galaxy part one and part two, it'll also be in here. So that's how you build up your library. And here's our TV shows. All right, you can also change the view you know to whatever view you want like right now I only added this TV show you can also play it straight from here just by clicking on it it'll give you the episodes click on the episode and this menu will pop up for you to play the movie from 
All right. And next we have our movie section. And then the, there's a widget, as you can see on the bottom, it gives you a little note saying you have a widget on top. You could hit up. And this is the Elysium add-on, the featured section of the movies. All right, and in the sub-menu, you also have your sets, your files, your 1080p, Bubbles, Deliverance, Exodus, Flixnext, Reborn, Goodfellas, Maverick, Quantum, Showbox, Skynet, Spectre, Salts, Black Hat, Pyramid, Wolfpack, White Devil, Falcon, At The Flicks, Real Movies, Stream Hub, Movies, Arena, and Supremacy. Here's our TV shows. When you go to the widget, you have Elysium Featured TV Shows. Alright. Oh, and also you can click on, um, when you click on Movies itself, it takes you to the movie category of Elysium. Alright, so you could choose your popular, future, new movies. The same thing with the TV shows. It takes you to the TV show category of Elysium. Alright. And in the sub menu, you also have the add ons. There's a shortcut to the TV show sections of these add ons. So you have quite a few. Here we have the kids sections. In the widget, we have Falcon Disney Movies. When you click on Kids, here you have um, Bobby's Cartoons. And in the sub menu, you have Binky TV, Bob's Kids, Jacob, Gummy Bear, Peppa Pig, Wild Brain, Tykes, Disney. And Disney too. Now for the Wild Brain, sometimes it gives you an error. It's pulling from YouTube, but um, just click on it again and it should work. All right, so you have a good amount of content here for kids. All right, and you could go to the next page and so forth, or you could go into the playlist. All right, here we have our TV section. In the sub menu, we have Falcon, Matrix, Supremacy, TV One, Live Hub, Goodfellas, FTFA, and Stream Army. For the widget, we also have some TV channels here. All right, and most of them do work from this add-on. Let's just click on anyone CBS. This particular case, a balloon was. All right. And here we have our sports. And in our widget, we have our sports sections right here. Let's go to being sports nine. All right, clicking on sports itself. It takes you to the live premiership um, add-on. All right, in the sub menu we have TV One, Sports Matrix, um, live Premiership, Live Sports, Quantum, UK Turks, and Sports Devil. I like this add-on. It's from, um, I think it's Sanctuary. And I think they changed it. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. But 
on um, one of my other bills, it asked for me to take off the sanctuary add-on and use this one. All right, so for more, for more of your sports needs, you could go to Fido Sports. And I checked most of these links out, you know, and they work. But like I said, it um sometimes you need two attempts to load it or wait fifteen seconds for the channel to show. But it doesn't show you no progress that is working. So you will have to wait, you know, a couple of seconds and then you'll see something happen. If not, then you try another channel. But most of the channels work that I've tried. And there, this add-on also has amazing live TV um, content. Let me just go into the add-on. And let me just go to this two dots to back up. I should have put it on the live TV section also, but at the time, I guess the add-on wasn't updated to, to this one. All right, so you have other live stream TV on here also and they work pretty great and this is from different add-ons okay so it's like a whole bunch of add-ons in one you have the oblivion iptv bam f iptv pyramid live ultra live vital live and you have your free view and of course you have to use a vpn if you're outside of um the uk you have deliverance and supremacy All right, here we have our music section, and in the widget, we have top 40 charts. All right, clicking on music itself, takes you to Beats by Stream Army. And in the submenu, we have your add-ons. It's for your music add-ons. You get Quick shortcut to your music add-ons, your files to navigate to your own file on your device for your music. And we have Beats again and Top 40, Karma, U Music, and Vivo Music. Alright, here you have your add-ons. You can jump straight to your video add-ons. And this is the add-ons that it has in its build. It's quite a few. This is the add-on I was playing with. It's um, it's just a YouTube add-on. Trying to, you know, I don't know, make something. But um, yeah, you can also find the kid stuff in here. I just added some of the channels I watch, and um, <clears throat> you can always check the Cody builds to see if there's any new videos out. To inform you of any um, new updates, this was my last video. All right, let's back out of there. And we have your music add on, your programs, and all um, your pictures, and my add ons, and install. Which will take you to install from repository. You can always go back and it'll take you to install from zip file. And here's your settings menu. And we're back to hub. Under settings, you can find your live TV. That's if you have, um, you know, a IPTV service or whatever the case may be. Yeah, which I don't use, so, but it's there. And on the settings, you can also find your file manager, which will take you to your ad source. All right, 
and we're back to hub so um let me show you like if for those that just want a widget to always be displayed you can just go to settings go to the B and go to home window customize home menu you slide over to customize home menu click on that and um, alright so for whatever section on your main menu screen has a widget you slide over and where it says auto hide all widgets see it's ticked on if you will always want your widget to, um, your widget to be shown you take take it off and then slide over and hit save All right, so as you can see, now the widget will always be displayed if you prefer it this way. Or if you prefer a cleaner look, you would go back and just take it off. All right, now let me show you how to install this build. You will want to go to on your device if you already have a build installed most likely some of you probably do or if you already did a fresh install and you want to install this build you'll go to your file manager on your device and you'll go to add source click on none and then you'll type in HTTP the link will also um, the link for the Aries wizard will also be in the description down below I already spelled it there we go so this is the link you'll put in the add source section okay so once you've done that you click done and you can name it uh, whatever you want I'll name it dot Aries and click on done slide over and then hit OK or save all right now you back out and you will want to go to <clears throat> install from zip file you click on Aries because I've named it Aries and then you will install it I already have that installed so just wait for the notification um, to pop up saying is installed and once it's installed you go to install from repository and then you'll scroll to Aries project and then scroll down to program add-ons and then Aries wizard okay so once that's enabled, now it'll be in your programs um, section. You go to your programs and then you'll go into Aries Wizard. Now keep in mind, you know, navigation through this is a little bit different because you're probably on a different build or, you know, you're on a fresh Cody. So it'll be a little different all right so once the screen pop up I'll usually go to more I go to erase all data fresh start this will remove all add-on ECT from Cody are you sure I click yes and then proceed Now I do recommend if you do if you're having problems doing a fresh start from Aries, if you have a, another add-on where you could do a fresh start, you know that'll be probably better if you get any error messages or you know it, the build downloaded, installed, and you haven't seen, you know it still goes back to the regular the regular estuary skin. I recommend doing a fresh start a different way. 
<clears throat> All right, so I did the fresh start and then I force close. And I'll go back into Cody. All right, and um, if you don't see the Aries wizard again, you don't have to go back and put the the source back in you know, the file manager. You just go to add-ons. You go to my add-ons. Scroll down to program add-ons and then Aries wizard, enable, and then open. And as always, you give it a little, a few minutes, a few seconds to pop up. And here we go. Now you'll go to Browse Builds and then scroll down to Steven. That's right here. All right. Now let the art pop up so I can show you. All right. So once you get here and you see that picture right there. That means you're in the right place. You click on Steven. And now you'll scroll down to Cinema X. Now keep in mind guys, when I put an X behind the builds, that means those are the builds that I'm going to keep to update. Alright, and I'm still going to choose some more builds to update frequently when I can. All right, so um, this is the build, um, this particular build that we're trying to get. So you go to Krypton Cinema X build. You click on that, and then you hit install, and then proceed. So this is pretty much a medium build. It's 315 megabytes. And um it varies for each box that you have. And um for those that want thing lighter builds, just keep in mind that that um lighter builds means less add-ons. But um I'll try to make most of them lighter. The ones that I plan on updating frequently, they'll be, uh, you know, a heavier, a heavier build and a lighter build. But so far, I'm just doing the, um, just updating the ones that I, you know, I plan on updating. Cause pretty much the earlier ones. It's me just starting out to make and build, so you know, I have to iron out some kinks and stuff like that. If you guys know the process of installing this, I Suggest you um you could fast forward it or skip ahead. Also, I was gonna upload this video tomorrow, but Tomorrow's a holiday, I don't know what I'm doing yet, so yeah, I believe tomorrow's the fourth. <clears throat> yes, tomorrow's the fourth. So happy holidays, happy fourth of July. And um I hope you guys have a good one. couple of more seconds then it will start extracting the files
and also in my previous video I showed how to go around the you know the movie not playing when I go to the extended info mod you know it, it's 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 the build it's tricky is it I mean it's not the build it's the um the add-on and it's tricky you know you just have to play around with it I showed it in my, my previous video how to go about you know a certain way to um, have it play you know it never it never gave me a problem <clears throat> it never gave me a problem you know for not playing or not showing up when you hit the play button All right, it finished downloading. I was extracting. And also in my previous video, I showed, you know, little tricks. It works for me. Little tricks how to speed up my Kodi a little bit or my navigation a little bit you know even though I have an Nvidia shield this is the first one that had came out but it's the 500 gig though you know but it's for me it's starting to you know slow down once in a while you know but I I've, I have noticed I could be wrong maybe it's just a figment of my imagination but every time I close the ES File Explorer or the um, internet browser, it, I could f actually feel the device running much smoother for some reason. So I don't know, you know, if you're having problems with lag or, you know, takes forever to do something on your device and you have e ES File Explorer. I, f I usually foreclose mine. And I also had to take the Google Chrome the Google Chrome off but I've noticed like every time I, I close certain you know apps that I have that's running in the background it, it my Kodi my Kodi and my device run smoother alright so it's finished extracting and I wait for the dialog box to pop up All right, it says, do you want to back up the skin profile? You hit no. Thanks for using Aries Wizard. The uh, free competition, you hit no. And then hit OK. All right. Like I said, I usually full close the ES File Explorer. Like, you know, I have all these things. You know, I don't know if they supposed to be running to, in the background, but let me show you real quick. You know, I usually go to ES File Explorer and then foreclose it. See, it's not running right now. But, you know, it, it, I guess it takes a toll on my device. I, I think my device is getting older. <laughs> but anyway, go back into Cody. All right. So once we're in here, you give it a few seconds to do its thing in the background. Let it settle down. You could all you could also see the progress in the um, bottom right where it says logged on busy. Okay, it's updating certain add-ons. Yeah, and bubbles had a new update. Yeah, I, I, rem I, I know some of you guys say, oh, the bubbles is running slow. But um, you could configure that. You, the, the bubbles add-on, you could configure that. And you could also add your Real Debrid account. Tracked. Oh, 
Okay. I think we should be good to go now. All right, so there you have it. Okay. Now let's go. As you can see, it's very quick. Anyway, let's go into the hub. I know some of you guys say it's you know you having problems with the with this add-on add into your library or playing a movie. Let's click on any movie. Let's click on Transformers. All right. Now UK Turks and um Fine and Dandy. Those add-ons, well, I don't know if it's working for you, but for me, those add-ons is not working. You'll get an error message. But um, if you use the, those add-ons, you could, you know, just leave it on. But if you are not, I suggest disabling it. Okay, so let's hit play. All right, as you see, it popped up. Now, um, see, fine and dandy gave an error. Just ignore it. All right, let's um try Exodus. I don't know if you guys mean like, you know, sometimes when you press play, nothing pops up or when you press play on the link to play the movie so I'll test that out also and show you that it's working if not I'll show you how to go about you know tweaking certain things but I'm, I've showed that in my previous video let's click on the first one see as you can see it's working All right, so what I usually do, let me show you this again. What I usually do is I'll go to either the metallic add-on or the extended info mod add-on. You know, I hit the context button and then go to settings. You know, I would delete cache or, you know, clear simple selector. You know, but all these other stuff I don't touch. Okay, these two I could play with, you know. And if you have a weak device, if you notice, I've all if you actually went in here, I put this window mode for low powered um, platforms, you know, so it could this add on could run a little smoother and better. All right, or I'll go to the metallic add on. the context button and go to settings you know I would enable all players you know especially if you add a new add-on let's say you want to build it yourself and you know have your own setup and you wanted to get it to work you know you could always go to enable all players or you could rerun total setup All right. So basically, that's what I do to troubleshoot certain things, and they 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 work for me. So maybe it work for you. It if you're on another build, and you're having problems with, you know, if and you have the same problems on whatever build you're on, you know, maybe troubleshooting like that would actually work for you, and I hope it does. And um, yeah, this is the Cinem Cinema X build. Thank you guys for watching. And hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And give this video a thumbs up. Thank you.